it's a chilly saturday afternoon in march and we've been called to a gentleman who's in severe pain on the top of kinder scout from the conversation we've had with him on the phone he'd managed to complete most of his walk but now he's in a lot of pain and he couldn't continue any further at this stage we didn't have much of an idea what was going to be wrong with him but the only thing we did know is he's likely to need a stretcher carry to get out of there. Uh, we've arrived at the casualty site now. We have another team on the way up in a second vehicle. They've got the stretcher, the wheel, uh, cas bag, big, big heavy winter cas bag. Um, so we'll get, once that arrives, we'll get him in that and we'll take him back down and then we'll decide what we do from here from, from there. After assessing his symptoms, the picture didn't get a lot clearer and we were really starting to get concerned that there was something more serious going on. So we requested the assistance of an air ambulance to get him out into hospital as quickly as we could. The air ambulance control agreed with our assessment and they said they'd send an air ambulance as soon as possible. We chose a landing site downhill of Edale Rocks and prepared our stretcher to get him down there. Hold! Right, should we, should we take the wheel off and then we can leave him on the on the stretcher until we get here? Yes. So, if I lift, AD and Pete, can you take yes. it off? Yeah, yeah. As long as you lift. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. Carl, me and you've got the sideways. So the air ambulance is inbound, uh, we think about five minutes out, uh, our casualties pain scores are starting to go through the roof so he's not good so I think we need to get him out of here as quickly as possible. So hopefully air ambulance will be with us in a minute and we can get him on his way to hospital. had a look at the area, a quick fly around and then attempted to land in our chosen landing zone. However, once they touched down it appeared that the ground was too soft for them. So they had a quick wait for a while and then they lifted off again. They then went uphill from where we were and managed to land on the other side of Edel Rocks which meant that we then had to carry the casualty up to the air ambulance's new location. The casualty was flown off to Northern General Hospital for further investigations where we believe he ended up spending a couple of nights. Uh, we got our gear together and wheeled it back down on our stretcher to our Land Rovers at Edo Cross and made our way back down to base. I guess one final piece of business is really just to say that this was the first run out on our new stretcher wheel. So we have a few thank yous for this. The frame was designed and built by Alcan Engineering and the tyre and wheel were provided by Lyndon Sedgwick, Julian Cook and Mike at Expert Bike Repair. So a big thank you to all those people who provided their services to us for free and just to say that the wheel performed fantastically and was a great improvement on our old one.